overall our experience varied. Sometimes everything was great, but other times not so much. Many of the issues we faced likely stem from our Wi-Fi setup. As we mentioned earlier, we're not using a dedicated router for PC VR streaming, and our access points are Wi-Fi 5 instead of the recommended Wi-Fi 6 or 6E. For that reason, we're hesitant to judge the experience too harshly. We tested several VR titles, including Beat Saber, No Man's Sky, Subnautica, and Walkabout Golf. And most of the time, they played smoothly. However, we occasionally encountered brief stutters and freezing, which did break the immersion, but not often enough to make the games unplayable. We also ran into an issue where Steam VR would randomly switch from full VR to a large flat screen. While it usually fixed itself, one instance required us to reinstall all the software, including Steam VR, to get things working again. Now, this could have been a software glitch, but it's likely more due to our Wi-Fi connection. By default, the Surreal Link software on the PC sets the resolution to medium, so we decided to up it to high so we could really take advantage of the visuals provided by the Apple Vision Pro, and everything really looked great. While gaming, the controllers really felt great in hand. They're ergonomic and lightweight, and the buttons, joysticks, and triggers felt great as well. For the majority of the time, the controllers worked well and latency was very low. However, we did experience occasional issues with tracking, specifically with position accuracy. At times, the controls were drift slightly or not register our exact position, which affected gameplay, especially in titles that require precise hand movements like Beat Saber. Although it wasn't a constant problem, when it did occur, it was noticeable and it could disrupt the experience. We also encountered instances where the left controller would lose tracking entirely, but it usually started working again after a few moments. Since these issues don't happen all the time, the controllers work perfectly fine for casual gaming, but they might not be reliable enough for competitive gaming. Also, the controllers have haptic feedback, but to us, it was a little on the light side and it doesn't appear that there's any way to adjust the intensity in the software. We also want to mention that you can change the mode of the controllers to a cursor mode to control Vision OS. The controller emulates the pinch gesture and allows you to scroll through your apps, select and interact with them. However, you can't use the controllers to play any games directly on the Vision Pro, like from the Apple Arcade or App Store.